I am Isis. Greetings, beloved ones. We will be sharing today birthing of the new earth. Now is will be a time of great transformation. So make yourself very comfortable. We have a few things to discuss today. Spiritual advancement and growth. It is no longer to be said that the veils are thin, for they are removed. In the place of the veils, they have shrouded the planet, and in turn each of you. There will be the new planes opening planes of gold. During the initial stages it may not be possible for you to comprehend or connect to the changes that will occur. That is the true beauty of creation. As advancements in your evolution occur, we can be sure that this golden energy will move closer and closer until it permeates through each of your hearts. So for now, we would say celebrate. Allow the energies that will transmit to the planet to also be transmitted to you. Do this with celebration, joy, and simplicity. We do not ask that you sit sacred. Those of you who have prepared energetically will be part of the magnetizing of the new golden era and the new golden rays. You do not need to know consciously or even understand how this happens as we are working through your essence we are working through a high or deep level depending on your perspective so beloved ones we would like to offer you a meditation to use for this new birthing. Use it as often as you like and are guided to. The more you are able to use it, the greater your transformation will be. It is brief, so you will absorb it, you will remember it. The transformation of you will support the transformation of many. So be comfortable, prepare as you sit quietly, undisturbed, bring your focus to your breathing, allow the golden energy to be inhaled and exhaled through you. As you inhale the energy, it is entering into your cells and your DNA structure. It is entering into your heart. Feel your heart center opening. Feel the strength that is contained within it. This feeling of strength can be felt throughout your physical body. A higher vibration, solid and strong. Perhaps you will feel like you are growing. It is the shift in your energy as you are expanding in order to connect and carry the golden light. 
feel the energy of the golden ray deep within your core. Feel it like a sun radiating out from your heart. For you are now beginning to birth the golden era. When you anchor it within you, when you magnetize it towards you, ground it and allow it to be birthed. As you walk with this energy activated within, you share it with those around you and you share it with the planet. You perform a service with Mother Earth. See this golden sun within your heart center getting bigger and bigger until you are within this sun. You are now the central point of this golden sun. At this point you are in the act of creation and you have been created in the golden light. Just take these moments to really feel it, absorb it, believe it and be it. When you are ready to do so, bring your awareness back to your body and bring your awareness back to that place where you are. You are now the creator and the created in the light of gold. We offer you this simple yet powerful process for you to use over the next few months as you wish, as you are guided. Beloved ones, what is this elusive power that everyone seeks to bring happiness and harmony into their lives? A power called love that can nevertheless be used for self-satisfaction and is often mistaken as lust. The true expression of love is the oneness that sees within all the creator essence and allows for compassion and understanding. Love is the energy of healing and creation bringing harmony and balance. There is absolutely nothing that is unaffected by it. And it can lift people up in times of despair and light up their lives. Love is that healing for all ills and problems.
bringing understanding and compassion. The great leaders of mankind are powered by it and attract others to them through their charisma and ability to bring peace into this world. This is something that has been sadly lacking for a long time. But the divine plan has allowed for changes that will address this problem. With the ascension in sight, those souls charged with this leading you forward are emerging into the limelight. They have been chosen because they have an inherent love of all light and more importantly understand people's needs. The dark have had a free hand for eons of time and have lived off the energies implanted long ago into the earth followed by the demise of Atlantis. The gradual lifting up of energies have brought change all around, but none more important than in the minds and hearts of man. You came into life with a disposition to certain choices and for karmic reasons have been led into those situations that have brought you the lessons you needed. For many that part of your life has finished and you now have total freedom to determine your own future. So beloved ones, evolution into the light is not imposed upon anyone. But as you clear away the darkness that has clouded your vision, you will see it as your destiny. It is a vital path, but once travelled, it can put behind you for all time. Now the gateway to absolute peace and happiness is opening and the light streams out for all to absorb and take it to themselves. It is a powerful light that opens the most hardened hearts and it is the love that knows no bounds and embraces everyone. That is what you have been looking for to restore yourselves to that state which you before you entered duality. So in reality there is nothing else but love and it is drawing you ever upwards and onwards. Without it you are incomplete and it is what you have been asking and seeking to take you back to those realms of the purest vibrations. It is your real home that you willingly left to seek the experiences of duality. Now your journey is all but completed and you can put aside the earthly worries and concentrate on your glorious future. Those of the light have come to earth at this time and therefore for the purpose of bringing you enlightenment. The final thrust will be the changes that allow for the new period of revelations to commence. A time to make good all that has brought you to this time shift that will enable you to leave the 3D earth for once and for all should be it your desire. The cleansing and restoration of earth is essential and have been your home for the experience of duality. It is part of the upliftment. As we have often told you, those who are not yet prepared for ascension will be lovingly and gently directed in another path that will also fulfill their desire. 
what is taking place cannot be totally ignored as it is like your children's game of hide and seek. There is always a time when we are coming, we are coming, ready or not. Events are backed by first contact and the coming of great beings and many will have to do some serious soul searching. It is a time of decision that will determine if those are undecided wish to follow the path to ascension. Many have made their choice and whilst there is an attraction in moving into a new age, some are simply unprepared for such a change. At all times the best advice for anyone in doubt is to follow his or her intuition. No one but them can truly know what they have planned, although it may or may not yet be part of their waking consciousness. Great programs or instruction have already been formulated and eventually everyone will be given the opportunity to understand the meaning of the end times. Some source in, interpret change only in the term of chaos and measure it against prophecies from long ago, including biblical visions. But we allow for all belief, beliefs, but inform you that you change your evolutionary path towards the end of the last century. It is because you took another path, but the dark have been left behind to fall into a pit of their own making. However, in doing so, they cling into their power, refusing to accept their in, in the failure, their own failure. So you are instrumental in moving events forward. The speed at which the dark finally concede their position, there is none so blind as those who do not want to see, and the dark leaders ignore what is staring them in the face. The more they try to avoid defeat, the more they are revealing the truth about their activities. They are just one step from being removed and their demise is unavoidable. So good to hear, isn't it? Now, beloved ones, mean, in the meantime, you who are the light workers continue to grow in strength, and you are coming together with like kinds and like minds. Your power is enabling you to march onwards for your goal knowing that you cannot be stopped. Your success will help mankind out of the dark ages into the light of truth. Abundance is about to change your concepts with this intent to share the wealth and the world fairly. There are many poor humans who exist on a pittance and that will be remedy, yeah as a first priority. There is more than enough wealth to go around to give everyone a reasonable standard of living and you will be given the tools to do it. Now the vibrations are rapidly rising up. It is becoming easier to find the light within and the motivation to express your true selves. You originally came from the levels of utter peace and harmony, and you were able to express your love unfettered by the constraints that you have on earth. That is all changing, and you will be able to bring out the 
the highest aspects of yourself that have been shrouded by the cloying energies of the dark forces. You are breaking out of the lower vibrations to become beacons of light that are joining together and bringing about the changes you desire. Heaven is rejoicing, rejoicing as you awaken and many great beings are able to draw closer to you and their influence is lifting you even higher. There are truly the most moving times when at last you are able to exercise free expression of all. That is pure and wholesome. You are on the high road that leads to victory and a successful conclusion of this cycle of duality. There is not much longer to go before the great events will manifest and you will truly know that you are at the end of the journey. The Creator has decreed that you shall once again join your fellow souls from the highest realms in the great upliftment that is taking place. Be in peace and love and see the beauty and light that lifts and light beneath the outer coverage of your brothers and sisters. Dear ones, do not doubt your ability to make a difference through your thoughts and prayers. The dark energies need to be softened and transmuted, and if enough of you had that intent, it would occur. Likewise, the vision you have of your future can be brought into manifestation by the power of your thoughts. Right now, there is wonderful coming together of people with the sole purpose of giving strong energy to bring those long-awaited changes into being. You have the power to do it and much support is being given to you by us. What you do is for all humanity and your selfless acts will be well rewarded. The end of the road is in sight and we all draw nearer to the end of duality and its challenge. A great assembly of light beings are waiting to shower you with their love and blessings and they urge you on through those final steps. So, beloved ones, Let yourself be that pillar that goes before multitudes, not particularly in a physical or mental nature, but in the powerful of love, a power of truth, a power of light, and a power of joy that burns away fear, burns away the old, burns away limitation, and opens you into the opportunity for rising up from the ashes and flying into this freedom of spirit. So you are given this great and powerful mission and blessing. Recognize it in it each moment. When you encounter fear, when you encounter doubt, when you encounter hesitation or limitation, or shadow, let that flame cleanse, for there is no more powerful cleansing that is offered unto the earth than that which you are experiencing. So let it occur, so let it move through its process, for it has begun. Enjoy the experience, enjoy the blessing, enjoy exist, and so it shall remain. Open yourself to receive, and in that receiving, awaken and allow your illumination to shine forth to your new home. I 
I am Isis, and I and others in the spiritual realm are so very proud of seeing so many lightworkers come together as one for this mission. We send our love and support always. As you know, I am always at your service with love. Namaste, dear ones. And I thank you also for being here from both of us. Rosalie, namaste. Bless you all.